you've learned that you can format text quickly by creating a character style. The problem is that character styles should only be applied to a few characters or words at a time. That said, the real power of automation comes in the form of paragraph styles, and we'll be seeing how to create them next. To speed up the process, I've already begun to format this article. For example, the main heading has both character and paragraph formatting applied to it, as you can see here. To create a paragraph style, make sure you have the Paragraph Styles panel open and select New Paragraph Style from the flyout menu. Of course, the first thing you'll want to do is change the name to something significant. Names like Paragraph Style 1 doesn't really tell you what it does, and you'll end up wasting a lot of time finding the styles you need. So in this case, Heading is an appropriate name for this style. I also want to direct your attention to the Styles Settings section in the middle of the dialog box. This confirms the fact that because I had my cursor inside the paragraph, InDesign is able to look at it and save the formatting I did as the style definition. This is a more organic way of setting up things, and this is my preferred way of working. That said, I also want to make sure that Apply Style to Selection and the Preview checkboxes are selected. So, with nothing more to do here, I will accept the modifications. We'll do the subheading style next. This time, I'll take a shortcut by Option or Alt clicking the New Paragraph Style icon. I'll enter an appropriate name, check my other settings, and click OK. One more to go. I'll continue using the Option or Alt clicking technique to create a body paragraph style. Well, I think we're good to go, except for the fact that the paragraph styles are not quite in the order I want them in. Ideally, you'd want to organize them in the same order that they will be applied. So I'm going to make some modifications here, but before I do, I want to make sure that I have deselected everything. The best way to ensure that is to click on an empty area with the selection tool, of course. Now that we're set, I can go ahead and drag them into place, and perfect. Well, believe it or not, we just did the hard work. The rest is super easy. To apply the paragraph styles, select a paragraph and click the appropriate paragraph style. And just like that, you have instant formatting. Also, you don't have to apply styles one paragraph at a time. The beauty of this is that you can select multiple paragraphs and instantly convert them into something beautiful. In case you're wondering, I use the shift key to select multiple consecutive paragraphs. One more thing, I don't need this extra carriage return because I'm using the paragraph styles to satisfy all of my spacing needs. I'll apply my subheading styles next. And now for the rest of the story, I need to use another feature to make sure I don't do any extra work. I'm going to have to call on the services of the story editor. For that, I'll select some text and mosey on down to the edit menu and choose edit in story editor. At which point, we're now able to see and select all of the text, including the overset text. Another benefit is that I can actually go in here and see what I need to edit. Now I have copy fit, meaning that I don't have any hidden text. Of course, one of the main advantages of using paragraph styles is that you can redefine them as needed. For example, say that your client wants you to change the cyan color of the subheading to magenta. Here's what to do. First, make sure that you don't have anything selected. That's very important. Now, right-click on the style you want to modify and select Edit. Style name, of course. Finally, we'll make the changes. And there you have it, folks. Instant InDesign.